Hey everybody, and welcome back to Honorbound Redemption of the New Guard. We've fussed with some audio settings from the last time we were here, and I hope everything sounds a lot nicer. Yes, it should be. Fingers and crossed. Two click, 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 click. Yeah. Two more yeah. important things. We're good. We are in the melee right now. The um, battlefield has been described. It is a oval, yeah. 30 feet wide, 60 feet long. Uh, only two constructions in the whole thing, and you are fighting what seems to be two knights and a uh, uh, and a barbarian wearing dragon scale. Why do we think she's a barbarian? Is she? It's she obvious. Dreadlocks. She, she has dreadlocks. Not brush her teeth. Hey, uh, hey, hey Neil. Tattoos on her. Yeah, I'm working on it. I got it. Okay. I see it. Okay. It's because people turn their webcams off and then back on. Now everyone's oh, are we not labeled? Someone was like, Ryan looks young without a beard. I'm like, wait, it's not <laughs> there. We're good. <laughs> Chucky looks not that Chucky. <laughs> yeah. I became American. <laughs> if only. So she's wearing dragon scale? I didn't catch that before the break. She is wearing dragon scale, yes. What color dragon? Uh, black. Dang. Well, are we rolling initiative? You are rolling initiative. Do they shout go or do they just like open the other uh, No, the, after the herald uh, kind of announces you, uh, the same guy with the frags does this and this. A, a, at this, they just take out their weapons and get ready. And when his hand fully goes down, minus two starts. initiative. <laughs> nice. God. In second That's edition, bad. you'd be a god. <laughs> 14 initiatives, all the initiatives. Okay, so um, I'm going to call out the order. Voisa is going to be going first, then Fern, the Knights, Martha, and Bowen. So do you have your bow with you, Theron? <laughs> it's over my, you know what, I probably, I leave it with whoever runs the shit. You know, I hand him my quiver, hand him my bow, hand him my backpack with my, like, 50 feet of rope, my rations, my bedroll. Yeah, I'm guessing every, you know, everybody left torches. Well, unnecessary stuff. My uh, backpack at is the, at the inn. At the armory, or the inn. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let what's-her-face go first, and then I will... I will wreck them Teresa all. takes out a, uh, her great sword, bows uh, uh, at you, and then moves um, in front about about 30 feet uh, taking cover behind one of the walls sorry the wall itself there's only one wall um, let's actually do a small wooden map so that that would be fantastic because I oval and there's some like wooden spikes somewhere and there's a wall yes, somewhere and yes. I, I'm I'm, like... let me just give me one second to see if I can just make this scale that would be great 45 just a bit bigger Uh, about to scale, about to scale. There are some walls uh, to the side over on here, and there is a uh, spike trap hill between. Let's so this circle is the pit, and this rectangle is the wall? Is the wall, exactly. Um, let me just bring two tokens in for them. You can feel free to move your tokens inside of the combat. So move your tokens inside. I don't... Where'd my token go? Oh, there he is. Okay, that's her. And... But she's big. Moment. No, yeah, I'm gonna make her small as well. Uh, this, this is actually her and these are the two knights. So the two knights are girls and she is the dude with an axe? <laughs> yes, doesn't, doesn't matter. Ignore that. Just the first two tokens I could find. Okay, good. These guys are in the back. Um, Varisa is over on there, uh, has moved, and after that, fell in. Okay. Oh, by the way, chat is asking for a map. Oh, oh, yeah, let's give them a map. All the... I'm going to have to readjust where everyone's face is now. Okay. Justin goes here. Okay, so... Chucky goes I here. Just wait for that. Ryan goes here. Neil's already in the right spot. I see how it is. Well, it's because I my picture stays first on Zoom. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. 
Oh, sweet. I'm going to go up. I can go third. I can go diagonal, right? Because this is 30 feet. That's 35 feet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, well, I can't go. All right, that's fine. I, I go here. Yeah, between uh, these so people. You, you pass. Yeah, you pass through the uh, the through this uh, five foot square. Yeah, totally. Uh, or do you actually try? Do you tr do you go past the wall, or do you try to avoid the wall? I'm trying to go up beside her to put some pressure on her. I I, okay, I go so to where I put my character. Yeah, as soon as you move there, her gooey attacks goes down on your face. That was a great sword. Is it a great sword? Down? Goes down on your face. Same damage, same attack. They are not the same damage. Yeah, one axe is d12. Great sword is two d6. Ooh. Oh, yeah. so it is a uh, great sword. You were right. War cleric laying down the martial knowledge. <laughs> Uh, I, I think this is the second time actually I, I confused Great Axe with Great Sword. Anyway, uh, her prepared attack misses completely. Um, way off target. And Theron. Theron goes in, short swords out. Doesn't have time to deal with this. Out. D20 plus 6. 19 against 19 the. 19 is person. a hit. And then a tw natural 20. And 20, all oh, that critical hit. So I'm going to do just all of them nice. together. 3d6 plus 4. 13 damage. 13 damage. Half a point below average. Boris, uh... And she is still up and going. Okay, awesome. After that, next in line are the knights. Um, the two knights shake out as well, um, there are great swords, and move to Farron on each side, and swing down at him. And they just left to open for some reason. Uh, we have two 17s against AC. Those are both hits. Ooh. And you guys know what that means. I'm not sure. What does that mean? DM half spare time. <laughs> <laughs> and in total from both attacks, um, you take 14 points of damage. Holy shit. Okay, and next in line after that, Marvel Coad, or as he is known here, um, Felgrim falls off. So casting spells is probably a bad idea. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I feel like summoning a giant ball of fire would get be a little suspicious. <laughs> I don't know. Probably should have read the rules before. Oops. Um. I'll look, look it's to easier here. to get permit for give us the permission, dude. Do it. Yeah. I'll cast three magic missiles on the chick. You cast, cast three magic missiles on the Cast ship, as yeah. many as you want? No, 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 you have a certain number of magic missiles you can cast, and you can divide them through people. Yeah. So basically okay. every time you cast magic missiles, there's three. If you cast it with a higher level spell slot, there's more missiles. So you can split them up any way you want to. The first level wizard is 3d4 plus 3 with the magic missile spell. 1d4 plus 1 per, per missile. But you get 3 at level 1. Correct. 3d4 wow. plus 3, yeah. Yeah. 5e easy and mode. People Super people kind of gasp at this, but the hell it doesn't say anything. It doesn't seem like spells are disallowed in the melee. Okay. So that's 12 damage. I'm happy. 12 damage to Grossa. She is not looking that great. Uh, and after that, next in line, Bowen. Alright. I break into a charge, running 30 feet forward, leaping 5 feet in the air, and landing atop this barrier uh, adjacent to... Um, to Melissa, and let's hope this goes better than last time. Hoisting my shield into the air, I shout, May Astaire bless this glorious combat! And I cast Bless on the three of us. Nice. You cast Bless on the three of you. And after and that... Pull a, yeah. pull a flail from my waist, and that's the end of my turn. Focus this turn. Um, the verse, uh, uh, mutters as she continues and she raises her great sword to meet your body, Fern. He says, Good hits. And Not on my watch. Uh, do I get some advantage yeah. for high ground? 
Mm, there's no high ground in five I'm feet. five feet above her. I'm standing on a wall. But yeah, it, it would count as she would be being prone. So yeah, you, you do get advantage. Because you, because you get advantage from a creature being prone, you are above Oh, her. wow. Uh, 18, 18, that's 22. a 22. That's a hit. There's oh. actually an additional D4. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. That's a hit. Uh, ouch, three points of damage. Three points of damage. All right, Neo, you are hit by 18 to the face. I'm hit? Yeah, she was attacking you. They're all, is all three ganging up on me? Yeah. yeah. You charged into battle. Wow, oh, man, okay, whatever. Bring it on, okay. bitch. You take four points of damage. Oh no, what a terrible greatsword. <laughs> Okay, and after that, next in line, we have uh, the knight. Uh, sorry, Ferrin before that. Ferrin. Yes. Yes. So, I would have to, if I want to get out of here without taking a tax of opportunity, I would have to use the withdraw action, disengage. right? Disengage. Disengage, yeah. yes. Disengage. No, disengage, uh, what disengage does is that you use it as an action, and the rest of your movement, the 30 feet, you can move around wherever you want without incurring any attacks of uh, opportunity. Yeah. Right, but, but it's you're going to get an attack then. But it's a, it's a full Unless action. you have bonus actions or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Or you could attack and go for broke with... Uh, I'm going to attack and go for broke. I'm going to attack the woman again. Do it. D20 plus 6. 8. And Eight. 16. 16 is a hit. Actually, sorry, sorry. No, no. Let me just check the... Uh, no. Plus D4. Plus D4. What's the D4? Oh, yeah. Bless. Bless. Two. Well, whatever you all it's Two. Eighteen. Yeah, it's a hit. So 17 AC. Six damage to her. Six damage to her. She's not looking that great. Also, hold but on. Again, eight? No, control. there's no way I could. Okay. And I'm going to finish off my round by provoking the two attacks of opportunity from the dudes above by moving in line with Bowen. So I'm still like kitty corner to the girl, hopefully. I'm trying to be if I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then I'll take the attacks of opportunity from... Fuck Let's it, no, I, I'm gonna fall all the way back to here. Why didn't you make your Heartbreaker attack? Um, because I it's not a bonus I action. could you can You're right, I could totally Heartbreaker. <laughs> D20 yeah, no, six against the yeah, other no, dude, himself. 23. 23? We, which Plus one you attack? The one to the right or the Yeah, I can only right? attack the one on the right because it's uh five feet of her. Five feet from her. Okay, good. So you attack the one on the right. And for five damage. Five points of damage. Okay, <laughs> after that, you encode the attack to the community. None of them being a hit. Alright, and I fall back to Actually, you know what to be honest? I wanna fall back to here, so far enough that if they were to chase after me, that Bowen would get an attack of opportunity on them. I actually wouldn't, because I already made one this round, but... Shh, but that, that's okay. the concept, is that I'm, like, falling back further, so that they have to, like, really come at me to get, get I'm, me. I'm standing five feet above them, whirling my flail in the air, growling, if that makes me a more impressive target. I think it makes you more okay. impressive. The knights themselves, uh, one of them goes around... This. 15 feet, oh that's okay. Goes around to Martha, and the other one helps Bolisa uh, and, and attacks Bowen. Do they get disadvantage for being at low ground, or is that not a thing? Mm. I should at least get partial cover. Some I should get dis I, at one least second. get a bonus AC, because all they can partial hit is my cover, feet. Yeah, yeah, partial cover means that you can only see a part of your body, so... And they can see that's, everything, but they can't reach feasible. it all. Yeah, that's feasible. That's feasible. I would not give them this advantage, but I would give you partial cover. That's 2 ACA, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So, the hit from the knight is a 19. And that wouldn't even hit if they didn't have cover. Awesome. And after that... Bouncing we... harmlessly off of my hairy legs. Hair, hair is strong as steel. <laughs> Glasses off bros. <laughs> and after that, Martha, you are hit by a 23. Yeah, that hits. And you take... Shield that. You take 12 points of damage. Ow. 
That was a mistake. Okay. Next in line after the Knights, Marfer. Um, probably wouldn't kill her. Right. She's looking pretty beat up. Well, yeah, but not the one who's really over there is really really bit. The one who's standing next to me is seems fine. Uh, the one standing next to you was the one uh, that was completely uninjured during this. Yeah. Time. So she's in to she's in good shape, unfortunately. He. She. Oh, he. He's in good shape, unfortunately. Oh, let's just make them all female knights. The yeah, icons look very she feminine to me. Yes, yes. This is going to get confusing. Mean. Okay. She is a female. Every, everyone you're fighting right now are females. They're a band of them and the only ones. Okay, you on. <laughs> I like how shut and Ryan just went... I'm gonna smile uh, when I just said them. You, you you went white smile when I said them as onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. okay so if we're past on. that. We are. So what's okay. happening in a chain? Uh, I have nothing but ranged spells memed. Which means I would take a disadvantage from attacking. Unless I used one of the ones that's just a save. I'll just hit her. With what? Him. My right, Warhammer. Well, presumably male. For, I miss. Plus d4, but not gonna miss. Matter. Okay. And I guess I'll just stand here and take a beating. And next in line after that. Um, well, I mean, you do have the way, way, almost the most HP of the party. I have the most HP of the party. You have, uh, I, 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 I'd like uh, Marfa to make a disadvantage perception check. Okay. This. Uh, does Bless apply? Uh, saving throws. Um, no. no. That's a 10. No, you don't see anything. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. And after that, Bowen. All Go, right. it's a shield. I make an attack at Miss Dragon Scales. Ooh. Hit. 21 is a hit. Nine points Nine. of damage. Not enough to take her down, but she's looking very bad. Come on, Bowen. I don't think Get I her. have any moves. Um, yeah, I will um, point at Theron um, and say, go get him, boy, and give him a healing word. Um, how badly beaten is he? I'll use Theron, Theron is badly beaten. Theron is... I'll use second level spell slot. Theron is about to like collapse from blood loss. I'm sorry, collapse from his non-bloodletting beating that he's taking. You gain six HP. <sighs> okay, and next in line after that, Forza raises her great sword and tries to hit the veins of steel, going a 23. Is that um, a hit? That will be a hit, yes. You take 12 points of damage. Um, Alright, and this is probably where Bless ends. Okay. Nope. And Bless remains. I keep my concentration. Awesome. And Theron. Actually, there's a deep next. order that isn't there. Yeah, we're good. Alright. I. I'm going to go and leap up on this five foot tall thing next to Ryan. Do I need to make some sort of roll to land up there? No, no, no. It's, your, if your strength is good enough, you can jump. If you take a 10 feet um, like advance, you can just jump your strength uh, skill. 10 feet. No, more than Without that. Without any check. Strength skill? Yeah, I think you can jump your uh, strength I can only skill. jump two feet high. No, I, can, I no, can skill, jump not modifier. Skill, not modifier. So what 11. Oh, 15. No, that's length. 15. I can't jump 15 feet high. <laughs> I think it's like divided by something. It's divided. gotta be divided by three or something. Basketball is not a competitive game. Anyways, you, you're, you've got like 15 strength, don't you? I have yeah, 11 yeah, strength. Yeah, anyway. Oh, you only have 11 strength? Yeah. Oh, then that, that might be a problem. Yeah. That might be a rest check, rest check. Rest. H I J. It'd be funny if you could jump 15 feet high because that's an automatic 1d10 falling damage. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, I think there's something about falling See, under feet movement. 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 Jumping 182 and 190. High jump. When you make a high jump, you leap into the air. Three uh, plus number strength. Feet equal to three, three plus, plus your strength, strength modifier. If you so I can jump five. Feet. You cannot. In some circumstances, your DM might make might allow you to make a strength athletics jump to jump higher than you normally can. Well, how far? You could also just distance? climb. It's only five feet, right? Just do it. Yeah, it's only five feet. Yeah. If you have it's enough how, movement. How far are you from? How far were you from the wall? Ten feet. Yeah, he could just climb it. It wouldn't even matter. Yeah, yeah fine. I I go over to the wall. It doesn't look I, as cool as me, but... No, no, it's totally awesome. Because I go over there and I put my like shoulder and arm on it and I kick my feet up and lay on the side of the wall and then get to sitting and standing position and bring and my then, swords. And then you say, the girl, you say to the girl, hi, come here often, and then you stand <laughs> up. Or just stab her while I lay seductively on the side of the wall. One of these options happens. <laughs> and with my high ground advantage against her... I roll. Twenty-three and twenty-four. Twenty-four. Are nice. those hits. Eleven damage. Eleven points of damage takes for setting and doing down. And the hold announces. Do you? Did so you I'm, pull the blow, or did you just finish her? So I mean, you, she's uh, probably, you, you know, making death saving throws. Okay, so you, that was lethal. Yeah. All, all of the damage you guys have taken is not lethal. I need to mention that. How? How do? There's no such thing as non-lethal damage until it's a. Uh, sorry, sorry, no. Yeah, they just. Uh, yeah, I forgot about. It. They just did normal damage. It was mentioned that it's going unconscious, not killing somebody. Too. When was that mentioned? Can't. When, can't retcon I mean, that. No, no. We're they, going they to the death. She mentioned. The dwarf mentioned it. It is going unconscious, not killing, but still you can do whatever. Okay. Um, the Hold announces, and a figure in uh, black robes, uh, familiar black robes lined with red, points a finger at uh, Voisa, and she doesn't not breathe anymore. DM hacks? What spell is that? Or is she he? Spell divine. That's, that's a touch spell. That is a touch <laughs> spell? Yep. Got me. You got me there. Okay. So yeah, continue. On I mean, it could be a it could be a research spell or something like that. But. No, she moves. She moves in and, and to touch it. But you okay. can continue. But then on. she's going to have to wait till her turn in the initiative. Exactly. You only, exactly. only ready one action. And next in line after Bowen is Bowen. So is dead. After if he's unconscious. So after Fern, so we are the knights. Okay, let's see about those knights. Uh, this knight takes a blow um, against Bowen, on a 21 against AC. Uh, it's a miss if unless he does something about the, the no. high ground. He does nothing. And the other one rolls against Martha at a 19. Uh, shield. That's a miss. You, he misses you. And I was like, the first time I just have a weakness for tall women. I won't be surprised again. <laughs> <laughs> Next in line, Marfer. Alright. Um, she's a little terrifying. So I'm going to take. Have we th confirmed that these are women? Yeah. Chucky yeah. said they were all women, just to make life easy. They're all women, Ryan. You're surrounded so gonna, by women. I'm going to disengage and then one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go to there. That's my turn. Good. Awesome. Bowen. Alright. I take an attack at the Amazon. Uh, advantage, right? High ground. Uh, hold on, D4. So many dice, inefficiently. Ah, uh, 13. Ah, uh, hold on a sec. Uh, might as well. I'll use my channel divinity uh, and make that a 23. Okay, good. And that is a hit. Uh, 10 points of damage. 10 points of damage. The knife is not uh, down, but he is not looking that great. I look around trying to decide whether I should heal the part, heal anyone. Um, 
Nah, I think I'll save it. Okay, and after that we have um, Felon. Uh, voice of the Sibuku. The, the One second. And okay, and then the uh, black robe with red lines. <laughs> Female clerk walks uh, into the arena and touches uh, Melissa, trying to keep as much uh, like not interfering in anything you guys are doing. It is black robes. Do I see it? She she has black robes and a red a red line. Um, red what? Red lining uh, along those black robes. Uh, do, I believe she has to reveal a holy symbol in order to cast that spell, but I might be wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, Never mind. She you, can, uh, you, you guys, you can roll a right. uh, intelligence check. A religious check? No, just intelligence. Okay. Um, Straight intelligence. I would pretend, religion is an intelligence-based skill. Why does it not? Or is this for something else? It, it's something else. It's just as like a remind, remember something. Eight. All of us roll the intelligence check. You can try. Yes, when you see this. Oh, and I got the same result. That's pretty funny. Seven. Nope. Yep. No, nobody recognizes this uh, this chick or the robe she's wearing. Okay. Next in line after that, um, we have Fern, as I said. Go Fern. Well, I will circle around the corpse of the woman to the other woman. Back attack. Yeah, I want to get behind her, so I'm putting her between me and Theron. Yes. Uh, not, not me and Theron, me and uh, Bowen. Yeah, yeah. Putting her between me and me. Between <laughs> Bowen and myself. Um, hopefully I can pincer her back attack, or uh, advantage from back attack maybe, because she can't see yes. me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, D1 plus six. 19. 19. And 20. The 19 and the 20 are hits. 15 damage. Oh, that's a good 15. 15 points of damage, and the female knight goes down. Uh, the, uh, the cleric's right here. Um, the, her name is announced. Yeah, announced. initially it is announced as a disqualified. Oh. And the cleric moves to start moving towards her. Uh, you can't take line. actions in between us. doesn't take an action. Yeah, she just... Starts so it, it gives out the <laughs> idea that she's going for her. <laughs> and after that, it's the knight's turn. Uh, this one over here looks around and picks Marfer to be the uh, best target he can attack right now. And tries to is take she, on Is she trying to strategically stay five feet away from me? Is that what's going on? Yes, yes she's trying to stay away from you. Okay. Hello again, beautiful. Arthur, a 18 against AC. Nah, uh, that hits. Eight, uh, oh, okay, right. shield last time. Yeah, but well, I've had a turn. I haven't had a turn since then, though, so actually my shield's still up because it's until the end of my next turn. You used it right before your turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. Never mind. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's that is. Okay, good. And you take. Six, one, five, 11 points of damage. I love a strong woman. <laughs> Do you go down? Nope, I'm totally fine. You are totally fine. Okay. Marfer, it is your turn. Um, can't really afford to keep getting hit by her, though. The other one's down, though, so I can just disengage again and just go to, like, here. You want me to hit her? All it's right. Your turn. All Took right. Took you, but... Four plus twenty-four. And eleven, that's probably a miss. Eleven is a miss against the female knight. Alright. I'm done. Okay, seven. Um my turn. Does Ryan get a turn first? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I should. Oh yes. Yes, go in. Okay. I'll leap down, circle around. To her back. Does she turn to face me or stay facing Marcher? 
Uh, she turns to face you as you come near her. Um, oop. Uh, hold on, plus D4. Oops, just RD4. Ah, 15. Nope. Okay, 15 is not a hit. You miss her. And after that, fair in. Okay, so I will move up to her and. Is she tall? How tall is she? Uh, she is about five feet five. Okay, so oh, no, looking, make taller than that. looking down on her, she's six feet. She's six feet. <laughs> looking up at her, <laughs> <laughs> with my two short swords out, I say, "Surrender. You are outnumbered." And uh, I guess I says, hold I my action. Take one of you down. Oh uh, fuck that shit! Then I kill her. <laughs> I mean. You can probably her. get a back attack if you sneak over to Martyr, next to Martyr. Yeah. Sure, or I'll even you're climb there, up on the wall the... and then make Can't, my attack. No, she intentionally made it so she isn't Then I'll the stand wall. behind. I'll, I'll try force her. Look, we, we get the back attack. Try force her. Uh, plus there you go, six. Natural 20. Nice. Whoa. Critical. Followed by an eight. Followed by an eight is nine enough to take her down. No, the damage. Eight, eight, eight was the, 12. the second yeah. oh, 12, 12 damage. damage. 12 points of damage, still not enough to take her down, but she is wearily holding her feet. And oh, one and that two on that second attack. Wow. She strikes down at Marfrey yet again. Do we have to keep meeting like this? <laughs> 21, I guess, AC. Right, it's all out there and now gets his OA. 18. 18 is... Shit. Three points of damage. Is a hit. Three points of damage is not enough to take her down. She is very hanging. Very hanging to her. Okay, do you, anybody else get so... Uh, no. How much damage does she do? Six, one, five. You haven't damage yet again. Okay. I'm unconscious now. What is now. she wielding? A great sword. Three great swords. Wow. Yes. All of them have great swords. I'm unconscious now. Oh, I didn't realize you'd taken that much damage. Um, 9 plus 11 plus 11. Belgrim falls off. Is disqualified. What if I bring him back to life? As I'm as I'm going unconscious, I, as, uh, as I'm just passing on, like, I lived up to my name! <laughs> You've used your new blood magic. Oh, well. I'm saving that for a real fight. This is just a you know fun little dig digression. Well, but for a magic mace, fight of the day, right? Or morning magic star? Flail. Magic, magic flail. Magic flail. So you know steam hacks. Because you use a flail too, right? Yeah. Not that it actually matters in this edition, but yeah. all the hacks, my yeah. flavor. And next in line, Barfer, uh, death saving throw before the credit gets to you. Pass. Okay, good. That's a Plus pass. Plus D4, actually, but doesn't matter. Oh. Pass. And Bowen. <laughs> um, I hit her in the back. Okay, just to look ahead. Uh, 16, yeah, that's it, that's it. You just take her down. All right, four points of damage. The winners are Farron and Bowen. Um, several more of these um, uh, Craigs, but these are dressed in gray robes and the women seem to be way younger uh, than the one that walked inside. Um, go at each of the downs. Uh, even at Marfa, the two knights and Boisa, and and hoist them up on. Uh... Uh, unless they're like rushing in immediately, I will tend to. I'll probably get to Martyr first. I mean, I need to wait six seconds for my turn to roll around, but. They're they're rushing in immediately. They were getting ready for this. I mean, okay. it was pretty obvious sure. when this was happening, and they start taking uh, them to what seems to be the infirmary. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. You are announced that you will have a uh, one hour rest until the next fight. Okay. Um, Good. Um, take a short rest and check out the infirmary myself. Are they giving out heals? Yes, they are giving out heals. Oh, do I get healed to full? Uh, so you take a short rest. Uh, Femin, what do you do? Oh, actually, actually we'll go with them and me. get my heals up. Okay. If they're, so, I mean, if they're offering Marfa. free heal, heals publicly, I will take them up on it. Marfer, um, you are healed. The uh, black robed woman stands above you 
and next to her stands a dwarf, full plate armor, with a golden shield on his uh, plate armor. That is a he poor has... choice of metal for a shield. It's, it's gold plated. It's fine. No, no, no <laughs> gold, it's on his plate. He doesn't have an actual shield of gold. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's like it's like it's inlay in his armor. That's cool. Yes, you know who this is. Um, this is Baylor Hammerfist. The leader of the gold fort, uh, <clears throat> of the gold fort. He wound up winning the joust. He was in the um, joust, wasn't he? The joust was won by him. Okay. He also uh, I, I have no idea why he's here, so I'm just like, hello. It's an honor to meet you. So wait, can you explain the heels that went down? Because uh, Justin is conscious, was, something happened. He was healed uh, by a. Level three, I think. You don't need to tell us the it. level. In fact, I'd prefer yeah. to keep those things secret. But. You are you are healed for twenty points of HP. That's yeah, prayer healing. That's why the level matters. So at least level five. Uh, do we see ho holy symbols visible? I assume these do have material components. Uh, yes, all of them are, have holy symbols. Um, of at, at least this uh, girl has. A holy symbol of the goddess of healing, whichever the god is of healing and soul. It's probably Martha. I'm an Martha. exactly full. Okay. He's like the goddess um, of life. The Bayer Hammerfist bows to you, and he says, "It is an honor to meet you, Hammer Wielder." What? <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I technically have a hammer, and I I I wield it real good. <laughs> um, right, this, strange. Um, this, this might be confusing, but there. This is a very good thing that you have come here. Um, what is your name again? Who's he looking at? I, I don't. Uh, I, I, um. I tell him my real name. Marfo Coad. Yes, yes. Your name is known to me. Please, if you should follow me, it would be my honor to explain everything. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. That, that, that couldn't possibly go wrong. I, I follow him. This is a little bit of like stupid hero worship going on. Um, you we are about due for a break. All right, do you want to wrap uh, this we up? We actually quickly? have like 15 minutes. So okay. Because we started late, so, um, yeah. Yeah, you start moving towards uh, towards the keep itself. Um, the the woman that healed you uh, to his side, and he says, uh, he pointing at the four spires reaching up like on the wall. There are four spires in the city, and he says, "Do you remember um, your other names?" My other names. That is the tower of this star, the wise. The, the other tower is of Aaron the kind, Miro the sly, and Fane the mighty. They have all been hammer weirders pointing at your hammer. That hammer over there, as I think you do know, is something special. So I'm not, I don't have the hammer on me. I didn't take the magic hammer into the melee. I used a regular hammer. Yes. Okay. I'm yeah. Putting that out there. I'm. I didn't take the magic hammer into the melee. <laughs> you didn't take the magic hammer into the melee. I know. Okay. 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 Just making sure that we were clear on that. The magic hammer was not publicly visible to an entire watching crowd of people. It was not publicly visible. Okay. So uh, bear time. So this is a thing. <laughs> Have I heard of legends of like hammer wielders from the you, the, the gold You have not heard of legends, of legends like that, but you can hold me a history check with an advantage. Uh, Twenty-two. You know the names that he told you about hammer wielders. They they do not come up like that. They were heroes, mighty heroes in the history of the realm. They were the leaders 
uh, of the hammer fist worlds. The, the hammer fist worlds and many other nations put together whenever darkness rose and threatened to solve up everything. Um, Bego says, I'm, I'm sorry to take you in a, in a rush like this. Um, but I had my men, and again, I do apologize. Uh, search your items. You have always come here in threes. Along the centuries, whenever, whenever a hammer wielder will show, with always two companions. And this particular situation was uh, a bit too weird. Especially considering what's happening right now. Okay. That's, yeah, great. So you have some idea of what's going on. He nods his head. Oh, thank God. Oh, could you just, could you just tell me what's going on? Because <laughs> so far um, all I've gotten is this weird conversation from this, like, ancient druid who was a little, you know, I think he had Alzheimer's. Ancient druid? He looks uh, weird at you. I, I don't know of any ancient druids, but what I know is that the cycle ends with you. There have been many wars against the darkness, some known and some unknown by the majority of the people. The cycle ends with the fifth tower being raised. The cycle of what? The cycle of these wars, the darkness, the or oh, I should not call it the darkness, it is more, uh, I would describe it as a complete void of grayness. It is, uh, it has been plaguing us for thousands of years. The words we have managed to keep them at bay but not win them. They have been more fights than anything else. The cycle ends at the fifth hammer weirder. Okay. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah, no pressure. Anything. Um, so much do you know anything that I do not know, but okay, we uh, are sworn to follow you oh. when the need and when the shadow rises. Oh, good. Um, good. Good. Do you know where the jagged tooth is? Or specifically, where Ellen Thiel the Sage is? He smiles at you. I was just waiting for you to ask that. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. This is all going very well. Um, unfortunately, I do know where it is, but there is bad news. The only way to get to the Jagged Tooth is to use a horn of summoning. Some of the guide take us there. The uh, location is long forgotten by us. Uh, our old fortress is now infected by creatures of the dark. Many hundreds of years ago, they have taken uh, this mountain. They have taken our fortress. We now call it Black Fortress. When once it was you know, the shining walls, even more beautiful than Gold Fort. This. Horn of Summoning has been, uh, well, lost, but it can still be recovered. We move it from time to time. Um, a party of dwarves sent in the mountains to recover it, and uh, fortunately there was a creature. We only see one scout back, one scout who was terrified and almost all his bones almost broken. He talked of a creature digging in from out of the ground, steel shining skin, large, and just swallowed whole most of the crew and the horn itself. Fortunately, it cannot be destroyed, but the creature needs to be hunted down. And, and got it. And he nods his head. I know just the people to do that. As soon as the tournament's over, we'll, we'll, we'll head out. I I wish I could help more, but most of our crusaders and knights have already been sent in aid of the elves. Say no more. As as long as you know I'm not a wanted felon or anything, I'll I'll get this handled. I should um, 
so yeah, if you if you have met anybody in the tuner um, that is of uh, excellent capabilities, you, they might be able. Um, they might even be uh, wanting to join you on this journey. Most of them are. Uh, most of the great names are heroes and wanderers who seek a story of their own. I will bear that in mind. No, as I said, and I should get back now, to my uh, party to inform them of these developments. Um, no, as I said, but when you do, um, when you do come back, I would like for you to meet somebody, the one that has yeah. told me of your coming. But of course, anyone, anyone you want me to meet, someone I want to meet. He looks at you with a smile, claps a hand on your chest. Great to see you. We. Well, it is great and it is uh, bad as well to see you, but still, <laughs> yeah. I'm a weirdo. It's something good in any way you want to look at it. Yeah, great, great and horrible things. I'm, I'm very familiar with that feeling. <laughs> Don't worry, the light always prevails. <laughs> right, and I, I, I walk off, just sort of looking behind me, like, okay. Hey, I'm okay now. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, You're okay. Yeah, I'm stretching and I'm I'm fine. Okay, so uh, I'm probably just, like uh, in so my right mind when I get back. Ooh. So <gasps> and Bo, you uh, look around the infirmary and he's not there when you finish your hour long rest. We probably noticed him get carried away, right? I mean, I, I wouldn't. Have... Oh, did he, you said that you take your rest and then check the infirmary? If I'm, no, if I I'm took my rest in the infirmary. Okay, yeah. good. So yeah, you, you know so we saw him get carried away, away and he comes back. Focused at the problem at hand. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. Does anyone offer healing to the victors, or are they dealing with our? No, our you are being offered hero um, heals as well. Let's see over here. You are healed for nineteen points of health, uh, Bowen. More than enough. And Theron, 23. I, dude, I only need 11. 23 is what you get. <laughs> All right, 23 is more than my max. Save your healing for someone that needs more, priest. <laughs> we have enough to give around. Uh, the kind of woman smiles at you. You should not take your goddess's blessing so lightly. The war cleric speaks the truth. Not worry. Our god has um, has entrusted us with enough numbers and power to hear anybody that would need. <clears throat> yeah, we have the need for it today. This is not the first time we've been doing this. Smiles kindly again at you. Okay. Um, and after that, uh, he comes back after about maybe 13 minutes. I'd say the walk around, the heal, the everything. You got 30 minutes. You have like 30 minutes left in your rest until the next round of combat starts. Well, oh, we rest in the infirmary. I'd... Okay, Marsha, do you want to interact with your uh, with your party? Uh, I'll tell them that. As soon as the tournament's over, we uh, we know the next step that we should take in order to find the Jagged Tooth. Fantastic. Let us let us discuss once the tourney at hand is no longer on our minds. Okay, so um, you guys go into the melee, and Marshall, what do you do? Uh, go cheer them on. Sit in the audience and shoot spells at our enemies. <laughs> I'll sit in the audience and cheer them on. I'm not going to cheat. Okay. Although if I had thaumaturgy, I might consider it. Or press the so, either one, really. Um, guys, you are um, you are presented yet again, and in front of you stands. Let me find this. Um, in front of you stands a elven lady of delicate beauty. Her name is Lady Erenwen, 
of House Shabby Noir. And the second one fighting you is a male dwarf. <coughs> Sir Bulog the Kind. Oh, let us find two more. Same arena? Tokens. Same arena, yes. Okay, feel free to move your characters around. Okay, well, awesome. you know what? This is our breaking point, I think. And I think, yeah, that's a, that's a great that's a great point to break. And we'll come back with uh, the second fight in the melee. Okay, see you awesome. guys shortly. Hey, uh, exciting.